As a salesperson, it is imperative that you are able to celebrate your wins and learn from your losses. Working in this field, I'm sure you understand that you will take your fair share of losses day in and day out. Whether that means never getting in touch with that coveted prospect, losing out on a sale or to the incumbent, or losing a client's business after so many years together, sales can be an extremely difficult position. According to the Objective Management Group, one of the top five sales competencies that make elite salespeople so successful is their ability to overcome rejection. They continue asking questions long after other salespeople have given up, allowing them to close opportunities that many have walked away from. On average, it takes between 14 and 16 attempts to get an initial contact with a prospect, but most salespeople give up after just three. That is a lot of rejection that you need to face and overcome before even getting in front of your potential buyer. But if you simply dedicate yourself to outperforming and outcalling your competition, knowing it is a marathon and not a sprint, it will make the job of selling much more rewarding. I had a prospect that continually told me no for a couple of years regarding the use of our pre-hire sales assessment within their organization. Now, they are a great client of ours and use the tool religiously. However, it took multiple contacts and many, many conversations to help them understand that the pre-hire sales assessment was the right move for their company. It has helped their business immensely throughout the years. As our chief growth officer, Mark Trinkle would say, my ability to pursue greatly exceeds your ability to ignore. I finally won that account because we had the right conversation and the right solution at the right time. And I didn't let my fear of rejection stop my persistence. You won't win them all, and that's okay. There is a lesson in every loss, and it is your job to figure out what it is. Did you identify a have to fix versus a need to fix problem? Did you discuss time, budget, and capacity for your prospect to make a change? Did you agree to a decision-making process and timeline? Reflecting and learning from losses will better prepare you to succeed in the future. And if many of those prospects ignore you or turn you down, which will happen, you must be willing to prove that you have what it takes to succeed in sales with a short memory and an even better attitude. That attitude is partly due to your ability to celebrate little victories. Some of these victories could include Prospect saying yes to your proposed meeting after eight months of contacting and conversing with them. Or it could be something as small as exceeding your daily personal goals for email sent. Maybe no one answered, but if you are disciplined enough to follow up, work your sales process, and learn from your losses, more potential business could be waiting around the corner for you. Just don't give up.